Hello everyone, I am Alka193 and welcome back to the Pokemon Gold walkthrough. The stream number 5, which I believe will be, will start with episode 27 on YouTube. Very excited to continue. Last time out we ended with, uh, I think we beat Gym 7 right at the end of it and we had the SHELTER episode. And today, we are starting with something else that's very, very exciting. A random wild battle that's gonna be shiny. Darn it. Would've been so cool if I called that. Never mind. Alright, so I'll pick up this berry. That's also not what I was referring to. Because, while editing the last stream, which will be, which will have been like episode 22 through 26, something like that, I realized something. We never fought him! He called us a while ago and I forgot it. So we're starting this stream fighting, finally, Youngster Joey. Let's see if he has trained his Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> Eradicate! It's not a Rattata anymore, he trained! But now his thing that the thing that he says doesn't make sense anymore. I... Don't kill Eevee. I need friendship! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna swap my poke, come on. Catpack, can you take care of this? Anyway, hello everyone, good to see you. Hi Shiro, welcome to the stream. I say I'm doing very well, had a nice good night's sleep. Decided to stream during my afternoon for once, because normally I stream during my evening, it's pretty dark outside, I have some natural light. Um, I'm a bit more awake because of it, because it's the middle of the day, I like that. Decided to stream now. I'll see how long I can go. Maybe there'll probably be a break somewhere for dinner, but that also depends on when dinner is. If dinner, if I have dinner really late tonight, because uh, I'm not planning it today. Uh, if dinner's really late tonight, then I might just stream until I have dinner. We'll see. There's quite a few things that I want to do. Quite a few things that I can do. Let's see what we can get to. My mom. Hello, mom. You saw this adorable doll and you bought it. Ooh, I'm actually going to check that out. La 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 la. But before we get that doll, I also want to pick up another berry because I don't remember exactly how many berries we need for that mill tank on Route 39. But I want berries. Now we're going to go to my room because I want to see that doll. Oh, wait! It's Tuesday! Skills totally planned, not. <laughs> remember the week, siblings! <laughs> We've seen Wesley of Wednesday, who was at Lake of Rage. We've seen Frida of Friday, who was at Route 32. And it just so happens that when we're on Route 29, Tuscany of Tuesday. So you have four more days that we need to stream once you get all of them. A pink bow, powers of normal type moves. Replaced by the silk scarf in Gen 3. Pink bow doesn't exist beyond it. It does the exact same thing. But in this game, it is a... Uh, it is a pink bow. Let's actually look at the moves our team has, because we haven't actually done that, and I normally do it at the start of the stream. To remind ourselves, what do we have? We have Lapras, Surf, Thunderbolt, Body Slam, Confuse Ray, Jetpack, with Flamethrower, Fly, Metronome, and Charm, War Bandit, Horn Attack, Rock Smash, Fury Cutter, Counter, Proton, Thunderbolt, Firebrand, Swift, Thunder Wave, Breeze, Headbutt, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, Poison Powder, and Little Fluff. Just here to gain some extra friendship points. <laughs> Let's see what my mom got me. If I know this table right here is empty, but when your mom gets you some... Dolls... A Charmander doll. I'll put it on the right side. Look, I have a Charmander now. Hello, Charmander. I have a question. Um, a couple days ago, like three, four days ago, I did a Pokemon Vortex stream. It was a super great, super fun stream. Lots of people came to watch. I went from 2 to 28 subs, which is epic. Um, but from that stream came multiple suggestions, and one of them was a Pokemon Conquest um, playthrough. 
And I wanted to know from you from Twitch chat, but also those on YouTube that are watching this later. Um, Ari, would you be interested in watching a Pokemon Conquest playthrough? If you don't know Pokemon Conquest, it is a game for the Nintendo DS, an official Pokemon game where Pokemon and a Japan exclusive game called Nobunaga's Ambition are combined. As sort of their features are combined and it's a really cool game. It's a very different way to play Pokemon and I think it's very fun. It has so much replayability. I remember playing it in 2012 and playing it a lot. I don't, I want my main game Pokemon walkthrough is currently the Pokemon um, Gold walkthrough to stay the main thing that I do. But Pokemon Conquest does seem interesting and I haven't played it for a long time and I'd love to play it. So what I'm currently thinking is I'll do that, I'll stream that let's say once every two weeks or so. And then instead of edi editing it into parts, I do want to put it up on YouTube, but instead of editing it into parts like for gold, I just take the entire VOD, so the entire stream, maybe just cut off um, Let's say this right at the start, the end, and maybe when I take a small food break in the middle or something, and just upload that entire thing straight to YouTube, so that people can watch it that way if they would like, if they missed it on Twitch. What do you think of that idea? Because I I have a way to stream it. I haven't made the overlay yet, but it does sound interesting to me. Also, because I am streaming this on a Tuesday, now I didn't specifically plan to stream on a Tuesday, but. Uh, I am streaming on a Tuesday, which means the bug catching contest is open. Last time we had a huge failure. We didn't even catch a single Pokemon because that stupid Butterfree that we tried to catch took out um, our Flutters. Now we have a Pokemon that has higher level, higher defenses, higher HP. Also it has a higher accuracy move that can put things to sleep. I still intend to catch a Pokemon at full HP because that just gives the the most points. If we get a rare thing like a Scyther or a Pinsir, that is the best, but something like Butterfree uh, or Beedrill can be really cool too. Um, and then the randomness of their IVs does matter too. So even if we get a Scyther, we're not confirmed to win, but we have a pretty good chance of it. Let's go see what we can catch this time. Last time we found a Butterfree and it failed. Let's get something decent. Pinsir immediately! I'm not sure, I, I don't remember what levels Pinsir can appear at, but if we can catch this thing, then that's epic. Sleep Powder, put him to sleep immediately. Pinsir and Scyther are the highest scoring Pokemons. If we can catch this thing at full health, we have a very high chance of winning the contest. Come on. Come on, first try. Ah, would have been so good as a uh, comeback story. Losing it last time. Yeah, uh, one of the bonus episodes I have planned for Pokemon Gold is an in-depth explanation about how the scoring system works for the bug catching contest. I don't think a lot of people know about it, so I do want to explain that uh, in detail in that bonus episode. Oh, come on, we're so close. Stop teasing us, Pinsir. 20 park balls. You have to stain the ball for one of them. Come on. If he wakes up, we'll just sleep powder him again. Fire is, I think, his strongest move, which only does 5 damage, so we're fine in terms of taking damage, probably, unless he keeps using Vice Grip or Bind. Actually, Bind could be more annoying because that hits even if they're asleep. If they're awake for one turn, that's probably the best move they can use. I do want to put them to sleep because that's the highest capture chance. It doubles it. Sleep and freeze double it. And other major status elements like poison, burn, and paralysis uh, are times 1.5. Park ball! Go! Come on, Pinsir, it's not that hard to stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. It's not that difficult. Also, don't wake up immediately. Yeah, Shiro, it's fine if you're uh, in and out. Playing Rocket League. Okay, have fun with that. Alright, just put that thing straight back to sleep. So that when Bind runs out, we don't have to take damage uh, from another one. But for now, it's that's still going, and it's actually pretty good damage for them. 
I don't like that. I don't want to go down. I want to catch this thing in full health and win the contest. You can win it with a Butterfree, which is easier to catch. You can win it by damaging a Pokemon like this a bit. But I want the highest chance to win, and that just means I want to catch this thing at full health, and this is the best we can do. Put it in sleep or freeze it, but there's no instant freeze move. The only way to catch this thing frozen at full health would be to be lucky with a move like Ice Beam or Blizzard, or maybe Powder Snow can freeze, I'm not sure. And then to, and then to hope you can heal it to full health with Present. Which is a move exclusive to Delibird. Which I don't think we've seen Delibird yet. Might come up in a cave uh, in a couple episodes. Come on. Right, released from the bind at least, but that was still a lot of damage. That bind stayed for a long time. Catch the pincer. If you want a pincer on the team in this game, this is the place to catch it. And I guess if you just want to catch the pincer just to have a pincer, you can just weaken it because the Pokemon that you... You can keep one of the Pokemon you catch in the book catching contest. And if you just want to have a pincer because you want to use it during your playthrough, you can just weaken it as far as you want and then catch it, which would be much easier than the method I'm using right now. We did get it, yes. Yeah, you could just weaken it and catch it if you don't really care about the win of the contest, but this gives us a huge chance. Pincer, the Stark Beetle Pokemon. With its horns, it digs burrows to sleep in at night. In the morning, damp soil clings to its body. We don't nickname it yet because I haven't officially kept it. However, we're just gonna leave. Although, let's talk then. My Parasect puts Pokemon to sleep with Spore. Smart strategy. Let's see if we can find anything else. We can find a Shiny, because then I might want to keep that one instead. No, that's a Weedle. And that's level 10, that's not going to give us that many points. We can just take it out for EXP. I just want to talk to this person! I already have the pincer, I don't need Caterpie and Weedle! It's not necessary! D d get over here! You should weaken Bug Pokemon first, then throw a ball. I could, but then I don't get as many points. So Barry's probably not gonna win if he uses that. Alright, let's quit. I'm confident in my chances with Pinsir. Third was Reiner, who caught a pin a pincer in third. Either he weakened it, or there were three people with at least with really good points. 313, I think 386 or something like that, 384 is the maximum. If you catch either a Pinch or Scyther at full health, and then have the perfect IVs. Or at least the attack, attack IV I think is most important. I don't remember what if we had a male or a female. Male is better. Barry who caught a, a Kakuna higher than a Pinscher, that must have been a really weakened Pinscher in terms of HP or very low IVs. We caught it at full health, this, we have to have one of them. WHAT?! We had a full health pincer, we didn't have top three?! Sorry, what?! I caught a full health pincer! <laughs> that is ridiculous! Okay, Pinscher could have also been called level 14. Oh, we are Reiner. I totally forgot my character was called Reiner. Okay, well at least we're top 3 then. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're beaten by a Cocoon and by a Venonat. What? That's not okay. No. Uh. Alright, third place we get a gold berry, second place we give you an Everstone. First place is the only way to get a Sunstone, which you need for two different evolutions. Sunkern and Gloom evolve with the Sunstone. Gloom also with a Leafstone and a Valplume, but it has a new evolution in this game with the Sunstone. Which I believe will meet that evolution later on in the game. Right, let's give a nickname to Pinsir. 
It is a male one too, so we know its attack IV is good. I'm gonna call you bronze because color sort of matches. Also, you were third place. So, bronze. Let's take a look at it. Let's get focus energy bind, yeah. Third place with a full HP pincer. That is very unlikely. And one of the things we could have beaten by was Kakuna. Like, it's not a Caterpillar or a Weedle, which is much weaker, but still, it's a Kakuna. So that must have also been a full HP Kakuna. Probably male, considering that also matters with the attack IV. And then just have really good IVs in general. That's very... Like, Venonat... I guess. Venonat could also be a bit, uh, can be level 16, I think. Yeah, Venonat can be level 16, so it's probably a high-level Venonat. But... Bronze with a pincer! Huh. Well then, I guess it's time to move on from here. I'm gonna give these two berries, actually three, because there's a third one um, on Route 38, but I'll give those to the mill tank. And then I'm going to go to Goldenrod City, because if you remember, Team Rocket took over some radio stations, so I'm going to investigate at the radio tower. See you there. I totally forgot, but I remembered it earlier as I was depositing some items and selling some items. It's a new stream, so we can get a new ball. We have a level ball. Because we handed in the red apricorn in the last stream. So we're going to now give Kurt the sixth out of the seven balls. Technically, I don't think we've ever given him a white apricorn. No, 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 we did. I, we haven't given him a blue one, because he just gave us a lure ball at the start. Oh yeah, we have to exit and then come back. And then we can give him a pink apricorn, which I withdrew from the PC earlier. And he'll make us a love ball for use later. We are back in Goldenrod City. And we are here to investigate the cause of this. Team Rocket has taken over a lot of different radio stations. The Lucky Channel, the Pokemon Music Channel. The Pokedex Show channel. What's going on? Well, there's the rocket here. Can I change the music while I'm still on my bike? Because I like the rocket music. No. Now it's Golden Road. Actually, I, the, it's the rocket music because of the radio, so I'll just set up the radio again better. Uh, there's even rockets blocking this part, so if I didn't have a bicycle yet, I couldn't get a bike right now. This is blocking a bunch of places to be annoying. You can actually get behind this guy. Because, remember the underground part that we went through. Because if we go here, la 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 la, actually, now that we're here, remember that salon where Togepi got a haircut? I'm gonna do the same thing with Eevee. Because Eevee's evolution depends on friendship, and a Pokemon becomes more friendly towards you when it gets a haircut. Ta-da! I don't know exactly where it is with its um, friendship. It hasn't fainted, it's walked with me quite a bit, and this helps. It might still be a little while longer because I'm not leveling it up. This is Bill's house, you might remember that. Did we ever get his phone number? I believe we did. Let's see, which phone numbers do we have at this point? We still have Joey, we have Bill, just in case our PC is full. We have Jack from National Park and uh, Last Dana uh, from Route 38. We've battled her like twice already. 
I always like the idea of naming scary Pokemon really unintimidating things, such as Squidge the Gyarados. I actually kind of want to do that for one of the walkthroughs, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just do that with with the blue Nuzlocke, or any of the Nuzlocke's, where for the standard walkthroughs I'll use serious names, and for the Nuzlocke's we'll do really crazy names. Like, my Gyarados in this one is called Splash Boss, which is... Like, Splash in itself is not really, but Splash Boss. It's a boss of splashing really hard. It is capable of doing that. Also, I want to... thank a bunch of people for following in the last day or two. Uh, since my Vortex stream hit YouTube, I've got quite a few follows. So, I want to play all of those on stream. Squirrel! Batsky. And face. Squirrel. Um, if you weren't there for Vortex, because I hit 28 subscribers... But I did click it twice, I wonder when it would show up. Sorry. Sorry about that one. Uh, yeah, but I have two new emote slots. Currently, I only have an angry Alka emote. I have two new emote slots. And... I am working to get new emotes for that, but it'll probably take a little while before they will be available on Twitch. But I'm working on it. Squirrel! Right. Thank you, everyone, that just had the notification pop Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's go take out Team Rocket, because they took over a radio station, so they're bound to be at the radio tower, right? Take over the radio tower. What? It's none of your business. So this is the radio tower. So this is the guy that was there from the start. Maybe he was investigating for them? Hello, I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours today. Well, interestingly, she says that because today we have the most access to the entire tower. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show how scary we are. Well, come at me. I've beaten Team Rocket before, and three of their executives, well, technically two in this game, because the one in Slowpoke Well didn't count as an executive. But if you play the remakes, Hard Gold and Soul Silver, then the final trainer in Slowpoke Well actually counts as one of the executives. I definitely want to, in Crystal, do the Team Rocket thing in Mahogany before any of the Team 5, 6, or 7s. Because one, they're lower leveled, and if you do it right before Team 7, it really doesn't feel spread out well, all the evil stuff. Because then it's, they show up at Slowpoke well, you beat them there, and then you don't see Team Rocket for a while, except this one Team Rocket guy that was just standing in front of Radio Tower that I just showed off. And then right before Team 7, you beat a bunch of Team Rocket, Grunts, and two executives. You beat Gym 7, and then you have all the rest of the Team Rocket section, and then you don't see them for the rest of the game. Which really isn't well spread out at all. That's the, my main, I guess, one of my main gripes with Gen 2. The evil team isn't well spread out. But maybe they intended for you to actually go do this section a lot early, which I've, I don't think I've ever done, at least completely. So that's what I'll do in the Crystal Walkthrough when I get around to that. 